topics that I talk to my clients about, I talk to myself about most importantly, anybody that's riding horses or anything in life, you have to be confident within yourself, but especially in riding your horse or training your horse because they're looking to you for guidance, but most importantly, leadership. And every time that you show your horse confidence within that, right, they're looking to you for that leadership. Every time there's a lack of confidence, they get nervous themselves and they're building a lack of confidence. The goal is to have the perfect team, to both be confident, but you want your horse to trust you and trust the decisions you're making and to follow your lead. And that comes from us growing confidence. Way easier than it sounds, right? It sounds so easy to just do it real quick, but it's way harder to actually have the confidence. Um, I know a lot of people that struggle with accidents that had in the past or uh, time off. You know, after I had my son, I was nervous about getting back on some more difficult horses. I mean, I just did it. I didn't want to skip a beat and that was the best thing for me. But the less time in the saddle, the more I feel like your mind has time to say, can I do this or am I able to do this? I don't know. Am I good at it? Right? You start second guessing yourself. I honestly, you might not think it when I'm teaching people, I'm great. But in life, I second guess myself all the time. I mean, it's, it's normal too. we're all human and our brain sometimes messes with us. Um, the biggest thing is, you know, this is a perfect example, right? My horse now is looking at my dog that thinks it's a good idea right now to go see if the bunny rabbit can get away from her. Now, this horse has taught me so much. Um, I started him myself and I've been continuing to ride him. I'm trying to finish him with all my busy life. Uh, this horse is unbelievable, but he also is very nervous. All the confidence that I have given him, he's just a very touch go type of horse. Um, any little sudden movement sometimes still startles him no matter how much time I spend with him. And so with him, I have to remind myself to one, go slow, but not too slow, just like relax. Like I could never ride this horse if I was really angry and about to just take somebody down. Like if I came out of the stall and grabbed him, he would totally be like, whoa, like he is so sensitive like that. He's never done anything bad, but you can see it in his whole body just mirrors exactly what you are. If you're tight, he's tight. He's like, what <laughs> What should we do here? When you ride him, he gets tight. If you get tight, you know, he's very, very sensitive, um, which I love, but it's taught me to channel my emotions. And I, I'm sure you've heard it before, and I'm gonna say it again, as what stuck with me from, you know, Ken McNabb used to always tell me, fake it till you make it, you know? Um, I sing a lot. I try to allow myself to talk and breathe. That really helps me because when your emotions get the best of you, they pick up on not the words you say or not what happened to you last week. Say you got a flat tire or something and now all of a sudden you're having a bad week. They don't know that. But what they're picking up on is all of that bottled into one, your body language. Now your body language is super tight or angry or sharp and sudden, right? Now all of a sudden they're like, whoa, what's going on? They pick up on your body language, whether it's on the ground or in the saddle. And so when people say fake it to the make it, what they're trying to get at is to relax take a deep breath and try to push through that nervousness. Try to get them moving. Try to do everything at your own speed and your own level of confidence, you know, whether it's trotting or just simply walking and changing direction. That way you're still gaining control of him, of yourself, and you're, you're still moving. So the energy isn't still, right? Your nervousness isn't just still waiting for something to happen. But I can tell you this, if you continue to do that, no matter what level you're at, and get those baby wins, you're gonna grow. And you're gonna grow, because then you're gonna realize, well, that wasn't so bad, right? Uh, I was at an indoor the other week, and there was this little spot of sun coming through the uh, the windows. And this horse looked at it, right? Just shied, but it's springtime, right? So I think everybody's got their jello legs, and oh, you know, we're riding again. And so the rider kind of shied. Next time around, the horse shied more. Third time around, he really jumped, right? It's all because of her body language. And she realized it, she fixed it, and she did fantastic. And the horse eventually was like, ah, I don't care. But it's amazing, right? Your body language and being tight, um, excuse me, sir, um, being super tight really does cause an issue. And, it, and you, the tightness in your body portrays it to their body. And now they're becoming nervous because all of a sudden you got nervous. That lack of leadership was there, so they don't know what to do. So they're just going to go off of how you're feeling. The more times you push through that, like that little light spot, the more times you say, ah, don't worry about it. Ah, oh, let's just keep riding, keep smiling, even though I'm really nervous, right? And just have fun. I can tell you, your horse is gonna go, oh, thank goodness she didn't seem to care. And I bet you, you probably did that a second before they did. So 
um, again, I work on this day in and day out. After I had my son, I was like, can I work with a horse that bucks all the time? I don't know, am I gonna stay on this time? Probably not, because everybody falls off, right? And you get back on. I mean, I'm no superhuman. Um, I used to see the guys at the ranch, I'm like, oh, maybe you buck out this one a little bit. You know, eventually you just have to do it. But you know what, I don't have to just jump on and kick them in the belly and go. I can work to that point where they may or they may not buck, but I'm gonna come into the arena as if this horse is not gonna buck with me. This horse is not gonna spook today and we're gonna have a great time and just see what happens because the sky's the limit. When you bottle up your emotions, you're not going anywhere. When you work through and allow your horse and allow yourself to have a good time, the sky is the limit for you guys. So I hope that helps. Um, we'll be visiting with you guys more on videos on like confidence and like exercises you can do. But until then, just take this